Hey hosers, it's Mitch from Creature Caster, eh? I'm just going to show you how to put together our national animal, the Canuck Mara. Many of you think that the loon might be our national animal because it's on our loonies, but no, it's the Canuck Mara. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep that accent up. Uh, this model comes with two different size bases for whatever you want to use it for. You might have a game that requires a smaller base, so we provide both. Um, it's a really good idea to dry fit every piece before attaching it. That way you can see where the glue points are and make sure that you have as much contact as possible with the glue. I usually build my models ground up, so we're going to start with the tail and the goose head. It's also a good idea to maybe follow along with our assembly PDFs, that way you can get the part numbers as well. got some glue on myself there so make sure to wipe that off before you uh, press against the model to not get any glue on the model. For these horns that go on the back, I started with the smallest ones, that way you can kind of get them out of the way first, and this way you can see which ones I'm attaching in what order. So start with the smaller ones. And there's some little tiny holes that you can see on the back, and those small ones just go in those top two there. Because the glue joints are pretty small, you could probably interchange these the left and right and it'll probably still work. And we're just going to go for the slightly bigger ones. These ones have a little bit more specific glue spots, so make sure you put the right one on the right side. for these biggest ones. The main reason why I use these, glued the smaller horns before the bigger horns is just so that the big horns aren't in the way when you're trying to glue the smaller ones. Uh, especially those ones at the very top, the antlers will totally get in the way and you can't kind of access them with your fingers and you, you might have to use tweezers, but I glued the antlers on last. You could also leave these separate if you wanted to airbrush them a different color or whatever, but I, I glued them on. Alright, so the next piece is here that I'm going to show you. This comes with a couple options to have wings or horns. So I'm kind of going to show you which ones go where. You can also interchange these as well and have just the big wings or just the small wings. You kind of do whatever you want with this. It's pretty cool. Regardless of what you choose, I would probably leave the wings separate as well. That way you can access all those areas without the wings getting in the way. And again, uh, it kind of helps to leave the wings separate. 
and I'm just gonna give all of these parts just a little dry fit that way you can really see how they go together before gluing them and you can kind of see what the horns on the back look like So for the wings, I just put the, the teeniest little dot of glue just so that I could paint the bulk of it and then maybe break them off and access the finer details if I need to. Or even if I decide to go with no wings, it makes it easier to kind of pull them off without damaging the pieces. This is a method that I use a lot for um, batch painting. The wings on all that's left is to choose a base size and put it on there uh, again I'm not gonna glue the model to the base just so I can paint them separate and just make it a little bit easier on myself thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy putting this together